I'm Joe, N3FHW. I wanted to put a video together that uh, shows how to uh, use a DV dongle with the DV tool software and communicate uh, on DSTAR uh, using your uh, computer. So uh, I've done uh, some setup here on, on how to uh, use the software. We actually do a QSO. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get started. Okay, this is uh, November 3 Fox Hotel Whiskey. And uh, we're going to do a demo today of how to uh, how to use a DV dongle and the DV tool software uh, in order to do a QSO on DSTAR over the internet. Um, you know, you need to have a DV dongle, which you can purchase at HRO or any uh, ham uh, store, and um, you uh, you set it up basically by plugging it in, uh, installing the DV tool uh, software. Uh, and then that will give you a driver, and then you fire up the software, and um, and then you can start communicating. Uh, the first time I had one, uh, because back then uh, there wasn't a ton of DSTAR activity, uh, not like there really is now, but um, there, uh, uh, I thought it wasn't working, because <laughs> I could never hear anybody on. But uh, if you hear the comfort noise, and I'll show this as soon as we, uh, we pull it up here, you'll... Um, you'll know that the uh, dongles actually work and then also you'll see the green light on it and then when you transmit the blue and red light so let's go ahead and fire up the software here uh, it's DV tool um, the current version is 2 and it's still in beta 5 uh, this screen here to the left is basically a command screen that will give you a lot of information regarding uh, what's going on uh, with the stream um, this interface here is the uh, the interface that you would use for um, uh, uh, setting everything up and then also doing your communications you have your audio here with your line in your, your line out you can test the audio here these are setting up some of your favorites for the gateway you can change the colors on it uh, and when we connect we'll go through some of these other tabs here um, the software will find the dongle and automatically fill in the COM port. If it doesn't, you have the opportunity to choose other COM ports. In this case, I'm COM4. Uh, you need to open the COM port first in order to communicate with the dongle. So, um, And also up here, you put your call sign and then whatever the crawler message is. I'll scroll across people's radios or their, or their software. So let's go ahead and open the COM port. You get this little uh, thank you message. So now we're, we're actually communicating between the uh, computer and the dongle. Um, here you can connect to all kinds of different reflectors and repeaters. Uh, repeater or reflector one Charlie is one of the most popular ones. So we'll go there and try to give a, uh, a little CQ out uh, and see if we can, uh, can raise anybody. So it's as simple as picking the reflector. Module C. The modules are A, B, C, D, and E. A is, uh, I think, 1.2 gigahertz. B is a 440 length. C is 2 meters. Uh, D, uh, I can't remember what that one is. E is echo. They should let you, it, you can transmit through and then hear yourself back. We can go with the C module, which is very popular on Reflector 1. Uh, and let's go ahead and connect. We'll see if anybody's on there for right now. And if nobody is uh, on there, we'll put a, uh, a call out. Let's connect to the gateway. Okay. You hear that comfort noise, noise in the background. Uh, it's basically um, just to let you know that the dongle's working. So we're on Reflector 1C. We can see here there isn't anybody up. You can go to the Info tab and click Gateway Info. Uh, these are all the dongles that are listening on 1C right now. This is the last heard list. The last guy on here was about five minutes ago. JR, he's from Japan. And then on Module C, these are all the repeaters that are linked to module C. So there are all the repeaters that are, are linked to this and people would be able to hear us when we put a call out. Uh, the history tab will start filling in once we actually uh, have some data coming through uh, and and that's uh, that's basically it. So let, let's try to put a call out and see if we can raise somebody here. This is November 3 Fox Hotel Whiskey N3FHW listening on Reflector 1 Charlie CQ. So we'll see if somebody comes back to our call. 
Okay, let's go back to this guy, PC2EBE. A PC2EBE from N3FHW. Uh, good morning, good afternoon over your end there. Name here is Joe Juliet Oscar Echo. And we're uh, just about 25 miles northwest of Baltimore City in a small town called Hampstead, Maryland. Over. Yeah, it's okay, uh, Joe. No problem. Copy you very well, Joe, in the Netherlands this afternoon. No problem. Uh, the name, Joe, is Echo Bravo, Echo like suffix. And my location, Joe, is a small village in the northern part of the Netherlands. And the name of the city is Drachten, Joe. 120 kilometers northeast of Amsterdam, Roger. Yeah, Roger there, Happy. Very good. Well, it's very nice to meet you here on uh, on uh, D-Star. We're just running a dongle here through the computer, uh, just uh, kind of playing with things here uh, and uh, actually videotaping it for uh, for YouTube. So uh, to put up on my YouTube channel there, Happy. I know you run the 880. I have one of those in my truck for D-Star, and I love that radio. Uh, everything sounds great on your end there. Uh, and just curious how my audio is and so forth there, Happy. Uh, PC2 EBE and 3 FHW. Yeah, your uh, your uh, modulation, your audio is one hundred percent. Your audio is one hundred percent. No problem. Very clear and very nice. Yeah, are you need it here, Joe? That is correct. And uh, we go to a uh, repeater station, about 20 kilometers from my station. And I transmit it on 144.9652. We got also on a local repeater over here on two meters, on my sorry, 70 cents. So this is a repeater but he's he coming is, through, uh, PA7D, two uh, meters. And he's going to the reflector and one, Charlie. Uh, this uh, reflect, this uh, repeat is always uh, connected on on a on a zero zero one C. So it is uh, easy for me to go to this frequency and make a Q of those. And the weather here you know, is very cloudy at the moment. We expect uh, rain later on, and uh, the temperature is only 14 degrees Celsius. And our time in of 4.30 in the afternoon, Joe. My back to you, Owen. All right, that'd be very good. 100% copy there. Very nice uh, signal. Just uh, um, held the uh, uh, the connection very well and very nice audio. Very good on the weather there. Uh, we had very, very warm weather here the past couple days, but it cooled off today. We're about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, sunny. It was raining earlier uh, uh, this morning there, Epi. Uh, I'm going to pass along my 73 here and, and finish up my video here, but I appreciate you coming back to me, and I hope you have a lovely uh, rest of the day over there. Uh, PC2 EBE from N3 Fox Hotel Whiskey. Yeah, okay, Joe. No problem at all. I heard a show on 15 meters and a lot of state from your part of the world. So uh, a lot of activity on 15 meters at the moment, uh, also from the United States. Okay, thank you very much, Joe. Have a nice uh, morning over there. I say there, there's about five hours a bit between me and, uh, and you, so uh, yes, that is, of course, the distance between the hours. <laughs> okay, thank you. So to see you and have a nice weekend. And I meet you again, maybe on, on, on this uh, modulation or maybe on each other. Thank you, Sandy, and uh, have a nice weekend. Bye bye. All right, Happy 73, and thanks again for coming back to my call. You have a great uh, great day over there. PC2 EBE and 3 FHW will be clear on Reflector 1 Charlie. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how it, how the uh, how everything okay, goes. And he's just saying goodbye there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get out of the screen. I'll explain a couple other things that, that went on. Okay. There. I uh, what I did is I just uh, pulled up a different channel after <clears throat> a different reflector after this uh, 
Kiso that we had with the uh, the Netherlands station. And uh, I just wanted to point out a couple things. First of all, PTT, push to talk. I have the lock button on, so all you have to do is click it once. And then that, uh, that allows you to speak. You click it again, and it's like releasing the uh, microphone button. I want to explain some of the things on here. Uh, this is the call of the current person speaking. Uh, you notice that you're listening to uh, that person down here. It shows the gateway that we're listening on and the, the call that's transmitting. He's a dongle, identified by DNGL. Uh, the your call is CQ, CQ, CQ. That's basically an input for DSTAR that says, I'm, I want to talk to anybody, and you're not directing your call to any specific person. Repeater 1 is how he's getting into, uh, since he's a dongle, he's going direct to the gateway of Reflector 9, and he's coming out on Reflector 9 channel C, which is a 2-meter side. Um, that just went off. Uh, I want to see if the other station is a dongle also. It, it looks like over here he is. Um, what you'll see is if there isn't uh, a dongle, these are both dongles, so they're both coming through the computer like I, I was. Um, but if there wasn't a dongle, you would see on repeater one, it would say uh, something like, um, uh, you know, the gateway for uh, like it is here. But for repeater two, it would be how they're getting into the system. Um, so it would be, uh, you know, whatever repeater they're coming through. And uh, you'll see that um, actually it's on repeater one with the last guy we were just talking to. Uh, if you look back at that, you'll see where, how he was getting into the system. Uh, so, uh, so that's pretty much it on the dongle. The info, if you remember, this was the gateways that are connected and so forth. History, uh, you, you'll see how it comes up. These are all the, the transmissions, where they came from, when they happened. Data, um, there isn't any data coming across right now, but sometimes you'll see different data coming through here. Um, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. And that's, uh, that's the overview on, on how the uh, DV uh, tool uh, software works. Well, that's pretty much uh, how you, uh, you operate the DV uh, tool software with the DV dongle. I hope it was helpful. Uh, one other uh, uh, resource that you can use is uh, DSTAR users. Um, and this, uh, this piece of, uh, 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 or web page is great for finding where the activity is, uh, on DSTAR at any given time. It updates, uh, pretty frequently, uh, and, uh, right at the end here, uh, when I finish up, uh, we'll do a little screenshot that has the, uh, the web page for it. Uh, this is N3FHW. Thanks for, uh, tuning in.